Hello from Universal, it is starting to rain right now, but I am here today because today is the grand opening of DreamWorks Land, as well as the debut of a couple new shows at Universal, Sensational, a Symphonic Spectacular, as well as the always Hogwarts Projection Show. I just parked the car, I don't anticipate the weather to be terrible really for long at all. Hopefully not, it might just rain a little bit, but I'm here pretty early, it's a little bit after 5 o'clock. I think the um, Sensational Spectacular is at 9 o'clock, and then the Always Projection Show, I think that'll happen. I think intermittently, if it's like any of the other shows that Universal does. So I'm going to prioritize Sensational, definitely between the two shows. So we'll see if I can make it over to Islands of Adventure. I imagine that a lot of other people are probably going to be doing the same thing because today is the debut of both shows. I'm also planning to go over to DreamWorks Land uh, just to see what food they have. We did not get food when we went there last time and I'm interested to see what it looks like at night. I made it through security and it is pouring down rain right now. It doesn't seem like it's going to be very long rain, so Heading over to Universal. I also want to get some dinner tonight, so I wanted to get here a little bit early. So I don't know if I'm heading over to DreamWorks for that, or just maybe somewhere over in Universal. I don't know how tonight's going to be because they've already had the team member preview as well as the media preview for these shows, but it's still going to be busy, I'm anticipating, unless this weather uh, subsides very quickly. So look at this pleasant walk up to the Universal Studios arch. Sometimes I do love the rain when I don't get wet. All right, now it's like really pouring down rain, so I'm waiting for just a minute before heading into the park even more. So I got shelter inside the Universal Studios store because it is just pouring down rain at the moment. So I can wait a little bit. There are a lot of wands back over here, all of which are interactive because they don't make the non-interactive wands anymore, which is unfortunate. This is much lighter than like the non-interactive wands that just feel a little bit more Dense. The rain's letting up a little bit so I could probably venture out to maybe get some food over in DreamWorks land maybe. Maybe not the best idea, but I didn't want to be in the uh, Universal Studio store just all evening. I've still been trying out my little lavalier microphone here and even put like a cover on it so it really blends in. All right, maybe this was not a good idea. It is not letting up at all, or at least it looked like it for just a minute and then, and then it was not the case. All right, I'm taking another quick pause over here by Mel's to get out of the rain. Woo! It is it might be coming down harder now, actually. So I'm inside Mel's, and I'm just going to wait out the weather here, I think. And I got the Mel's Famous Burger. Okay, so I have my food here, and I'm going to try to find somewhere to eat it. There's some pretty intense thunder happening at the moment. This rain is, like, no joke. But this is what I ended up getting. Again, just a pretty simple burger here with some fries. So it's sort of hard to see through this window, but it is currently not raining as hard. It's still raining a little bit, but it's not enough for people to start walking around Universal, at least. So I sat right inside that window, and it's finally done raining. That burger, by the way, was delicious. I don't know if the rain is done for the day, because it looks like there's some more weather on the way, but I'm heading back to DreamWorks. None of the rides are probably operating, none of the characters are out, but I just want to head back there. The dichotomy of Florida, where the sun is out with blue skies, and then right across from it, dark clouds and pretty intense winds. So people are already in Central Park right now preparing for the sensational symphonic spectacular but i don't think i need to be this early it starts in over two hours but just to walk over here before it gets too incredibly busy and packed with people in the next probably hour or so the rain might be done for the day it looks it looks ominous and it looked like the wind was was indicative of it moving this way but it might be moving away i don't really need the best spot to watch this i just want to watch it so even back here in this viewing area would be fine. But again, I'm going back to Kid Zone. I just want to see what the lane looks like right now and how busy it is on its technically its grand opening day. So actually, I might come back over here a little bit later. What I think I want to do is head out of Universal Studios because there's something else that I really wanted to see and it is the Epic Universe Preview Center. It has opened in City Walk, and I don't know if there's going to be a line. I was considering going there at the very end of the day, but with Universal Studios closing at nine and then Islands closing at 10, it might be better to just do it now before it gets too busy out there. I want this video to be entirely about weather, but it is raining again a little bit. I was going to say that it was only raining a little bit, but it is not. Baby shoe on a trash can. If I'm going to be trapped inside while it rains, can I at least make it over to the preview center? If I have to wait outside, that'll be unfortunate. There's really nobody else out here and <laughs> it's torrentially raining. This is fun though. I love like watching videos like this back. It's just, they're more fun to watch like in a cozy, warm environment inside my house. But what I mean right now, it's, it, it's, uh, it kind of sucks. But later, it's cool. Look how empty this is. This is great. I've almost made it over to the preview center. My shorts and shoes are soaked. This is pretty intense, but I made it to the preview center and it looks like there's no line. So I made it inside the preview center and this is an app that was on a paper that a team member was holding to download for specifically for the preview center. So this preview center is just one room, one huge room, a massive model of the entirety of the Epic Universe oh, theme park. 
I'm going to switch over my other candle in so I can zoom in on some stuff. This is the entrance into Epic Universe, the Kronos, I think into Celestial Park, and that is the, the carousel, the Celestial Carousel, and then the newly renamed Stardust Racers that goes all the way back over here, pretty much over by Isle of Burke. And this is going to be sort of the hub and spoke into the various lands, so over here is Super Nintendo World, and then Dark Universe, and then the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, and then finally the Isle of Burke. So this is the Isle of Burke that is the entrance portal into the land, and the various attractions they have announced up to this point. So as of right now, they've announced the specifics of Isle of Burke, and then as well as uh, Super Nintendo World over there. So there are no specifics for the Wizarding World or of Dark Universe quite yet. Stardust Racers over here looks just incredibly fun. This takes up just so much real estate of the theme park. And the pickup swing gliders, that's where it was over there. And this is the Wizarding World of Harry Potter expansion, the details of which have not really been announced. So I'm hoping for more specifics again about the rest of Epic Universe very soon. So this is the Grand Helios Hotel. This is the hotel that overlooks Celestial Park and the entirety of Epic Universe. And this is Dark Universe. Everyone is so excited about Dark Universe. And it's, again, still sort of a mystery with the specifics of this land that most people actually do know the details of. But as far as Universal's official announcements, they haven't announced anything. And then finally, the land that was the most obvious, Super Nintendo World with Mario Kart, Bowser's Challenge, and Yoshi's Adventure. And then Minecart Madness. So this is the Donkey Kong expansion, which is going to be so incredibly popular and worth it. So I will absolutely be back to look at the more specific details once it is significantly less busy here in the previous center. But I wanted to zoom in on the portal entrances. That is the portal entrance to Isle of Burke. And then that is the portal entrance into the Wizarding World Ministry of Magic. And I'm going to go back over on the other side of the model. All right, and then back over on the other side for the portal entrance to Dark Universe and Super Nintendo World and also example portals in the tribute store and the preview center. Jeez, this is the one for Super Nintendo World. This is for the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Ministry of Magic. This is for the How to Train Your Dragon Isle of Burke. And then finally the portal for Dark Universe. So as far as where those portals were, Super Nintendo World, Ministry of Magic, Isle of Burke, and then Dark Universe. And then of course there is merchandise. This is the merchandise for Celestial Park, slash just general Epic Universe merchandise. And the Isle of Burke has some merchandise here. They have a good amount of stuff, I think, for just all of these properties. This is the Ministry of Magic merchandise, and then maybe just like some generic Harry Potter merchandise too. And of course the largest selection of merchandise, probably because it already exists as a land, is Super Nintendo World with this entire corner just dedicated to all of it. There are shirts and keychains and headbands and plushies of all of the characters. It's so busy in here, oh my god. And then finally the Dark Universe merchandise, which I'm sure that a lot of this will get a little bit more expansive representation here once these lands are announced. And then behind the checkout counter there's some more Epic Universe merchandise over there, but I need to head over to Universal. Uh, because the show is starting in about an hour. So yeah, I'm heading over to Sensational to watch that, hopefully. But that was so cool, getting to see the Epic Universe Preview Center. Will it pour down rain again? It might, but I really want to see this show and the other show. A lot of people are leaving Universal right now, and this is odd. There's like a spotlight on the Universal Studios Arch. I've never seen that before. What do you think? Are these clouds and weather that have finally left us alone for the day, or is it on its way back? I don't know. So I'm not waiting two to three hours like some people probably over there in Central Park, but I'll wait about 45 minutes for this. So the weather seems like it's cooperating. The show starts in 45 minutes. I feel, I feel good. I don't know what that was. So again, the plan is to watch this show and then just try to book it over to Universal, or from Universal over to Islands of Adventure to try to watch always. I feel like it's a little bit naive of me to try to show up 45 minutes before a brand new show, but the weather might have helped me out today. Back over by Mel's Drive-In, and I should just be able to head in through Central Park. All right, I'm preparing to wait, I guess, for a good amount of time. It's already very busy over here, and they've started to test the water projections, the water screen projections. So I have my spot, waiting for the sensational. Symphonic Spectacular. I always forget the name of this. I'm just going to wait for the sun to go down and the show to start.
music of movies. Beautiful and powerful soundscapes that help bring to life fantastic stories. Cinematic music speaks directly to the heart, taking us into inspiring adventures. And tonight, those very melodies call upon us to follow a celestial spectacle. And you never quite know just where that story may lead. So let the music guide our path and take us on a journey that can only be described as sensational.
sensational symphonic spectacular has concluded and the uh, the receiver on my camera microphone has died or my lavalier microphone so I'm using the internal camera so if this sounds very different than what this video sounded like thus far then that is why the immediate takeaway from that show though it was phenomenal the perfect universal spectacular I think I don't know I'm like I'm speechless drones that was my first ever drone show I'm going to try to be a little bit louder because I don't have my lavalier microphone anymore but that was just such a fun show. I think my favorite part was actually the bum 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 like the universal logo sound. I have 30 minutes to make it over to Islands of Adventure though. Maybe it was just one of my favorite moments because I also really liked Ghostbusters, but I made it over to Islands of Adventure. Woo! It is a, uh, there's a long line over here. All right, there were some pretty long lines, but it's actually moving very quickly to get into the park. Facial recognition scanning is pretty cool. That worked really well. So I have 20 minutes to make it back over to Hogsmeade to watch Always. Don't know how often they do the show. I'm presuming every like 10 to 15 minutes, probably. So many there's just landing, and it looks like the show just concluded over there, like the fireworks just went off. This is so fun. Just trying to beat the clock and make it over to Islands of Adventure before it closes, and to try to see both nighttime spectaculars in one night. And I hope that this audio sounds okay. I hope that the other audio sounds okay. I'm still trying to learn things. It does sort of seem like the entire park went over to Islands of Adventure after that show, so we'll see if I can make it into this show. If this is the last show tonight, there's going to be one more. I guess some people could be coming over here for Hagrid's, but for some the majority of everyone is here to see always. It is suspiciously more sparse than I anticipated it being before the final show, one of the final shows of the night. All right, this is weird. It's actually pretty quiet over here. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry.
wanted. Together now. Wands in the air and at the ready. Lumos Solar! This year's House Cup winner is... Gryffindor! has concluded that show is incredible and i am heading out of diagon alley now this has been a long day recently it's been just sort of a marathon of all the new stuff happening so tiana's bike the true magic kingdom and a dreamworks land at universal today actually we went to epcot to go to the new communicore hall area and then now back to universal to do all the new shows and there's still more to do universal's mega movie parade is going to be debuting on july 3rd and then also SeaWorld has a new parade, and there's just a lot, a lot that is happening this summer. And then the Epic Universe Preview Center, getting to see that today, to be excited about next year. I think it's a pretty good time to be a theme park fan. I'm already just excited to come back and see all of these shows again, and then to see the new parade that's debuting in just a few weeks. Thinking about the Preview Center from earlier, I really hope that Epic Universe has a lot of these types of features. Just the water and physical movement and kinetics of the various lands. And heading out of Universal all the way back to the parking garage where there will probably be a pretty extensive line to drive home. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not though because it was not as busy over in Hogsmeade as I anticipated it being so maybe everybody left after the sensational the symphonic spectacular show so it might not be that bad heading out of the park but it might. So the Breaking Center still seems to be as busy as I would have anticipated but I'm glad that I'm just heading out of the park now but I will be back to use that augmented reality app and maybe zoom in a little bit more on specifics and, and start to get used to the rides and the different, I don't know, attractions of the lands. I'm still trying to gather my thoughts about the shows tonight, specifically Sensational. It was a little bit long, it was about 20 minutes long, which was very long for a Universal show. This was a pretty appropriate garage to park in tonight and to hear this music playing too. So I'm almost back to the car, but that was my trip to Universal to go to the Universal Epic Universe Preview Center, which I did end up getting some merchandise from. Vernon really wanted these, so I ended up getting them for a little Yoshi, uh, like a little Yoshi headband. Um, and then seeing the sensational, a symphonic, spectacular nighttime show at Universal Studios, and then the Hogwarts Always show at Islands of Adventure. Honestly, both shows were fantastic. I, I need to digest a little bit, just the drones, the fireworks, every single Universal property represented in that show, which was overwhelming, a very long show, but still so, wonderfully executed very nostalgic and then and then just i don't know adrenaline inducing and it was just so much fun that's that's really just what that show was was fun and colorful and beautiful so i really want to come back and watch that hogwarts always always is going to have like a special place in my heart just any hogwarts show projection show and that was just really well done too so thank you for watching i am exhausted i'm going to bed i'm gonna Make it home. I think at some point soon it doesn't look like it's that busy right now actually, so that's good. Uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you soon, have a great day, and, uh, and goodbye.